Hi friends, welcome to Wafa Studies. This is part 22 of Azure Data Factory Play series. In this video, we are going to discuss about all supported file formats in Azure Data Factory. So the main agenda is to know about the file formats on a high level in Azure Data Factory. So the list here which I mentioned here, all these formats are supported in Azure Data Factory. Okay, so Avro format, binary format, Demulated text format, JSON format, ORC format, parquet format. Okay, so binary format, JSON format, and this delimited text format, people might have know this well advanced. Okay, so binary format is nothing but the text file, dot txt files. JSON format is nothing but the dot JSON files. Delimited text format is nothing but CSV files, that means comma separated files. Okay, so apart from these formats, there are few formats which are we concerned about that is Avro format, ORC and Parquet. So it would be good you should know at least few details about these formats before working with Data Factory. Okay. So that is the reason uh, this video I plan to get a brief idea about these formats. Okay. So now uh, let me go to my Data Factory. So if you remember this is the Data Factory which we created in our past videos. Let me click a data set create a new data set here. So whenever you try to create a new data set here, it will ask you to select the connector type, the storage type. So again, what is connectors? We have discussed that in great detail in our past video that is part 21. So please watch that before watching this video. So here, when you create a data set, you need to select the data storage first, right? That means the connector you need to select first. Let's assume I select the blob storage. Once you click continue, Immediately in the next step, it will ask you to choose the format of the file, right? So data set is nothing but uh, the reference or storage uh, to the storage data or stored data or the storage location, right? We know about these data sets in great detail from our past videos, right? So please watch them. So I think we have discussed about uh, data sets here uh, in the uh, linked services and data sets Azure Data Factory video. That is part six. Okay, so please watch that. So it is asking you to select this format, right? So this CSV is delimited text, that is comma separated values. So this you, we know it, JSON file is very straightforward, we know it, binary files are nothing but the text files. So these three formats, what these three formats are? Uh, these are actually come from Hadoop uh, ecosystem actually, Apache Hadoop ecosystem, okay? so. The format, I mean, the extension of these files, uh, the, these formats are dot parquet dot avro dot org. So that means if a file has an extension dot parquet, then that is parquet format dot avro, then that is avro format dot org, then org format. So not only that, you I want you to give a brief idea about uh, these formats here. Okay, so all these three formats are actually part of Apache Hadoop system and most of, uh, for example, right, if you take Azure Data Lake storage, right, uh, blob storage, data lake storage, all these storages are actually built on top of this Hadoop ecosystem only, okay. So that is the reason these uh, connectors will support these formats also, okay. So all these formats, the main uh, agenda behind creating these formats is actually to query the data very quickly from those particular uh, files, okay. So the the ORC Avro Parquet files, right, they will be uh, following some compression algorithms actually. So, data will be stored in a compression manner. That is the reason, for example, uh, let's assume using ADF you have created an activity which will take data from SQL table and load the data into different files. One, one is ORC file, one is Parquet file, another one is Avro file and also text and JSON files, let's assume. So in this case, right, once you complete that activity, if you see the file size, right, for JSON and text, right, the file sizes will be very high compared to the ORC, Parquet and Avro. So these files will be compressing the data. So the size of the file also will be very less and the performance will be very high. So when you try to query the data from these files, right, you will get the results very faster because the data will be in a compressed manner. Okay, so that is what, uh, so this this high level idea about this format is fine for now. Okay, so 
if you want to know about this parquet i mean in which type of connectors or in which type of data stores this parquet format or orc format or avro format is supported then you need to visit these links of documentation i have already opened if you go here so parquet format right so this format will be supported in all these type of connectors that is amazon s3 blob storage data lake storage data lake storage gen2 file storage file system ftp all these so this list may increase in future so that is the reason it is always good practice to visit this link when you are watching this particular video so coming to the orc format all these storages s3 blob data lake all these formats i mean the connectors all these connectors will support this orc format and avro so again all these connectors here will support this avro okay so come and visit these links actually to know about the connectors which supports these formats okay so let's go to presentation so uh, these concepts right parquet orc avro formats these are very big concepts actually if you really want to learn them in detail you can very well go ahead online and you can do that but for this azure data factory play series that is uh, not part of the syllabus so i am not going in depth but remember one thing this parquet right here the data will be stored in a uh, row manner okay let me show you something so i have already typed so uh, in, sorry in avro the data will be stored in row based format and in parquet the data will be stored in column based format okay so both of these are from as i we said from adobe ecosystem only and another advantage of avro is actually in avro the schema definition right the data definition it will be stored in a json format actually you can very well open the file and you can see the schema of that particular data in the json format there you can read that okay so these are the two main key differences between i want to highlight but again as i said right you if you want to learn about these formats very in detail in depth right it's a big concept you can very well for now go ahead and explore on the online if time permits i will also try to create a separate videos on them okay so hope this given a good idea about these formats uh, please subscribe to my channel and press bell icon to get notifications whenever i add videos thank you